capable of doing me dirty work. See if you're family or not, don't you know? Two of my boys will be there any second to take you for a ride. See if you're the article or a sister or Cindy. We're going for a little ride into Epburn Heights. Kill me some filthy Diablo boo boo been batting up me Lady Queen Lizzie. You do the driving and the shooting and the dally and the boot. We'll make sure you don't get cold feet. Here, you'll need a piece. Laughing vampires dance. Feel the boot. This drive. You get to play with knives. I see. Is there a real sense of teamwork? My friend Joey sewed his hands together. Wow, you're learning some real skills. How about the salary and benefits? Yesterday, I made a dollar. See, that's the kind of dedication we have to our employees and the quality of our shoes. Eris Running Shoes. Always running from something. Buying a gift for the guy that has everything? Log on to PetsOvernight.com. We've got exotic pets galore, including tigers, cobras, manatees, and white rhinos. All delivered overnight. PetsOvernight.com, delivering little bundles of love in a box directly to your door. All right, now joining us in the studio, we have a very special guest. His new book, Karate and Digestion, has been on the top 100 self-help books for the past three weeks. He is the founder of Now and Zen, Dojo and Organic Food Market in Trenton. His name is Reed Tucker. Welcome to Chatterbox, Reed. Why, thank you, Bad Blue. It certainly is an honor to be here today. So tell me, Reed, where did you think of the idea of combining martial arts and organic food? I mean, it's kind of like putting ice cream on pizza. Both are great, but they really should be put together. Okay, Bad Blue. Nothing like ice cream with pizza. Ice cream is milk-based, as we all know, and I am lactose intolerant. And pizza, as you may know as well, is the same with the Italian origin, but I won't Arts are about discipline and physical empowerment, not watching football and eating junk food. You get to explore your mind and your digestive system. Like well, what you put in often comes back. <laughs> Especially corn. What's the story with that anyway? Glad low, I'm deadly serious. My mentor was a 430-year-old monk who showed me the way to ah! Okay. If you have a question for Reed, we'll be taking calls in a little bit. I think we all went through a ninja period, you know, all the shiny stars and the nunchucks. This is not a period, Ladlo. This is a way of life. Thanks to a strict vegan diet, I have the power of nine men. After morning, I third ice. Excuse me, some filthy Diablo. Remember, you and this to the end, man. Hold your corner. I'm a scrawny, pasty dude. It says on the inside cover of your book that you still live in your parents' basement. Okay, it, it's not a basement. I prefer a gentle, in chapter 17 of my book, which I know you've read, I address the dangers of cynicism. That low, closed mind is like a closed fist. Open the fist. Open the fist. Open the fist. Open the fist. Open Well, I'm not a masticating cow, so I really don't enjoy chewing damn hay and prancing around in leggings, shouting, Open the fist. 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 Carnivore, why don't you go and gnaw on a bone like a gorilla bat, though? Our ancestors didn't eat chicken wings. They lived at one with nature in their ecosystem, subsisting on a diet of nuts, berries, and vegetables. Yes, and they did. Okay, I could do it. Now get us back to the yard. Go, 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 now! 
but let me answer the question. When I'm in trouble or tempted by the all you can eat breakfast buffet, juicy bacon. Give me some bacon in here. That note, I go back to bacon. I start the day with a foodie beverage, some meditation, and six hours of yoga. Next, I go over to my shop, now and then, and drink a few times of hand breath. And who wants a steak after that? Okay, next caller, you are on Chatterbox. Ah! Yo, Beast, come to the movie to go. How can I learn to beat up 10 guys at once? Okay, first thing is first, my man. You need to stop the negative thinking. And the best attack I've found is to just run away. That way you still fear in your soul. Never know when you're like a bat. I don't want to hear about no tofu running away. I want to learn about being a nuisance. Bat. Actually, I do cover this early on in the book in chapter 45. It's called Stir Fry Your Prejudice. You see, I once thought that you were my master. Took me under his wing and taught me to enjoy origami. Concentration begins in the mind and spreads to all the extremities of the body. You must use the language of the body, not the tongue. And the language of the body begins with raw, uncooked, organic vegetables. Just the feet. You could tear a phone book in half with a spare tongue. Fat, fat. I could easily chop this desk in two half desks. This desk is made of two inch thick composite wood pulp and has a mahogany veneer finish. It's three drawers and knowing this station it costs hundred dollars. In his own words, Reed Tucker is about to smash it into two half desks. Take it away, Reed. Ladies and gentlemen, I already visualized the desk into two half desks. And now I shall make it so. Dragon stands. Hey ya! Oh! Oh, that's oh! That's oh! I think I hurt my hand, but. I think he's all been wrong way. This is crazy. Okay, you're the kind of man we like as friend now. You're Irie man. Real shooter. 